Welcome to the Max Lecture Series. In our today class, we are going to learn one more most uh, beautiful important thing. Okay, sir, before looking to the solution, whatever the content that I am delivering, if you are really understanding it, don't forget to click that like button and also share it with all your friends. Okay, so in our today lecture, we are going to learn something new. The thing is, as usual, this uh, integral is uh, very easy. If you observe, the value of the following improper integral is dash. I have already suggested you whenever we are having integration of log x directly look into by parts. By parts means u dv. Do you remember? Integral of u v dv. I have written the formula and I have been approached step by step approach. If you go with the same procedure, you will be getting the answer for this function also. But prior to that, if you observe the statement of the question, they told something to learn here. What is this? The value of the following improper integral. What is the actual meaning of improper integral? Some of you might be uh, having clarity about it. Some of you might not. Because already we saw the difference between definite and indefinite integral. Like the difference. If limits are given, then that is called definite. If the limits are not given, then that is called indefinite. Because the definition, limits are not definite in that function. Similarly, what is the difference between proper and improper integral? See, proper integral means your given function is having certain continuity from minus infinity to plus infinity. There is no discontinuity. That is the actual meaning of proper uh, integral. See, there are two things. First one, whenever you are observing the proper integral, there are two things. One is, you have to observe the function as well as you have to, you have to observe the limits also. If the limits are given certain values like minus 2 to plus 4, some finite value, limits should be finite and your function should be continuous always these two things are required for proper integral whereas when we are discussing about improper integral either what will be happen is limit might be some of uh, any one of the limit or both of the limit might be approaching infinity like minus infinity to zero or it will be defined as zero to infinity or it will be defined as minus infinity to plus infinity like any one of the limit or both limits are approaching to infinity then that is called improper integral second case is sir limit finite only limit they have given like minus 2 to plus 4 only but our function is having some discontinuity between the region so if your function is having the discontinuity in the given limit region so automatically that will be considered as improper integral only now in this case if you observe we are going from 0 to 1 so, if we draw the graph for x and log x, automatically they will giving you certain discontinuity. So, your function should be continuous and your limit should be finite in order to obtain the proper integration. So, improper integration, improper integral in the sense, either your function is might be discontinuity or your limits might be approaching infinity. In our case, see there, limit is given as what? Finite limit only. If you observe clearly, 0 to 1 is the specified limit. But the problem is why they are calling it as improper integral? The function is not having continuity. That's why they are calling it as improper integral. I hope now you may have some clarity about this. Because I haven't given elaborate explanations. Anyway, I have given the required things. Chalo. Let us take this function and we will be looking for the solution. We know the function is defined as 0 to 1 x into log x into dx. Tell me how can we proceed further. For this question, I have been told whenever you are observing this type of function, many times I have been told uh, just apply what? By parts method, uv integration. If you are applying uv integration, your answer will become very easy. What can we do, sir? So, we know, let me define the formula one more time here. Integral of u v, right? Whenever you are observing the formula, right? u v into d v. So, what we have to do? You have to take the function, keep u outside, integrate this v or otherwise we can directly write x here. That will be much better. Right? v into dx minus Find the differentiation for the first function, keep v into dx as it is, then close the whole bracket, take one more integration with respect to dx, that is the complete u dv formula. Now if you observe our function, how can we going to apply this one for our function? The thing is here, take log x, treat it as u, 
observe see i am rewriting this function for your understanding because log x i can differentiate log x directly the problem is i cannot integrate it for that which one can be differentiated here see there u will going to be differentiated in the second step so log x can be easily differentiated i i know the value of i know the differentiation of log x so the problem i am facing with the integration of log x only so i am treating log x as u such that log x can be written like this and uh, entire function x dot dx i am going to treat v into dx see that this is v into dx this is going to be u that's all now integration already given shall we start limit at last you can substitute after completing this whole expression that is whole procedure shall we start now yes so the first thing is according to the formula u is again defined as u only log x integral of v into dx if i will integrate x with respect to dx of course this will giving you x square so that will give you x power 2 by 2 one part is over minus again whole integral of u dash integral of log sorry differentiation of log x will give you 1 by x first step that is u dash then integral of v into dx just now we saw that is x power 2 by 2 again we have to do the whole integration for this now 1 x will get cancelled out after that here what you will be observing so this function will going to give you just wait a second here we are going to observe log x dot x power 2 by 2 minus here what we will be having 1 x will get cancelled still we have 1 by 2 is constant integration of x 1 x is lies with respect to x that will also giving you x square by 2 finally how can we write this further you can observe it clearly x by x square by 2 is common for this and i can write x square by 2 log x minus 1 by 2 that will be the resultant answer after completing this whole things just to substitute the limit to avoid the confusion i haven't put limit anywhere limit is what 0 to 1 now you can substitute let us go with the upper limit first upper limit is 1 so 1 square by 2 will give you 1 into log 1 will give you 0 minus 1 by 2 upper part is over after that we will go to lower part lower limit see 0 square by 2 that itself it will become 0 after that what is the point of discussing about the inner point inner portion so that overall limit is going to be approaching 0 only so directly i can put that value is going to be 0 sir so what i am going to do is i am removing the whole second part so that will be approaching 0 already so i don't want to discuss it further so this will going to be 1 by 2 what is value of log 1 0 minus 1 by 2 so what is the expected answer 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 will giving as minus 1 by 4 so what is the correct answer for the function the correct answer is minus 1 by 4 that's all see this is how we are solving the question when improper integral or something is given see always remember i am using bipartite method whenever i am observing log x it is not mandatory that only when log x will be given in the function we have to observe we have to go with udv sorry uv dx that is bipartite method you should check whether it can be directly integrated or not see in some cases uh, what i did in the last case i was checking about uh, even and uh, odd properties of the functions so hardly it is depends on the type of the function that they are giving when they are giving trigonometric function then you should think whether it is even function or odd function when they are giving a logarithmic function then you can try this udv method like that by practice slowly everything will be registered in your mind then after that just by looking into the question okay this is the question i will go in this approach you will be getting the answer okay this is all for this lecture remaining things you will see in the next class thank you all